Hey guys, so today we're in our 2016 Volvo XC90. This time we have the November update done, which mainly includes Apple CarPlay. Biggest update. So right now let's go and check out the Apple CarPlay and how it's integrated and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's start off by talking about this screen, which is about the size of an iPad. The iPad Air, not the iPad Pro, which is gigantic, by the way. So we have we are separated into four sections. So first we have our map, which was broken by the update, and then we have our media. This could be FM, AM. It could be media. It could be USB, Bluetooth streaming, etc. A lot of other stuff. And then we have our phone. So this is the normal phone, and it's just Bluetooth. Then follow that by, by that, we have a customizable block. So here right now we have our driver's performance, or MPG. And this can be eventually replaced by a bunch of these. So sound experience, messages, blah blah blah. And also CarPlay, as well as apps. So let's go and check out CarPlay. So right now, this is an iPhone 6. CarPlay is supported with anything above an iPhone 5, including the 5C, 5S, get the point. And eventually this is running iOS 9, as we can see through the multitasking. And even though iOS 9 supports wireless CarPlay via Bluetooth, Volvo still doesn't have that. So all we can do is rely on the traditional Apple lightning cable. So let's go and start it up. Start off by plugging it in. Let's do this one-handed. Let's see how this goes. Not going so well. Ah, there we go. So basically, we would start off with phone charging, and eventually the screen would ask to disable all Bluetooth devices. It's going to say yes. Starting CarPlay. As you can see, that lower block. Whoops. That lower block switch to Apple CarPlay but right now if I click on it it asks me to unlock because it's security wise that's the best way to go so now that it's unlocked my phone would bring up this message which says allow CarPlay to work while it's while the phone's locked so let's just go and allow that now the phone can be out of the equation so after all that we can see this very familiar screen but first, let's start out by saying, seeing how well it's integrated. As you can see, the separate tile expanded is about the size of the iPhone 6 right there, width-wise. And that's that. And that's completely separate from Volvo's census. So I can have map running at the same time Apple CarPlay is running. I can also still access all my temperature things like that but basically it's a separate block which I believe is so far the nicest integration of course the first thing we need to know for Apple CarPlay is how to access Siri and on the Volvo long press the voice control button that brings up Siri or I could just go with the long press of the home button that also brings up Siri and because CarPlay is trying to be less distracting for you to use your phone a lot of things are dependent on Siri so if we click on phone whom shall I call for you it would bring up Siri first but if I just quit Siri it would still give me this keypad favorites and things like that which I'm not sure how I feel about but that's that and then we can go home and eventually messages is the same so Okay, to whom? So basically asking a question text, and I press the home button. That will give me the phone list of messages, and then I can write. Okay, to whom? Basically that. So then there's like our app such as Spotify. And in Spotify, I can basically play my saved music. So I don't have any, so... Let's just go to playlists and just choose whatever's there. 
and as you can see it plays whatever's there with this again it's very uniform so this is also the screen which you see on iPhones when you play music which is very nice I must admit and I'm an Android user so but basically this is very nice how uniformed it is across from the phone to the car and this is definitely the best integrated CarPlay system which I've seen yet. Integrating the whole, this voice control, and also the voice control still works outside of CarPlay. So if I don't want Siri and I want the Volvo, I can just press it once. But basically that's it. I don't know what else there is. Please comment and tell me what I missed because I haven't played with this a lot. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.